What's up guys and welcome back to Soft and Audio Solutions and today we're talking about Hunt Showdown. Yes ladies and gentlemen, Hunt Showdown is here and it has its latest update which is 1.9. Now if you want to go from 100 FPS to 160 FPS, basically looking like this, doing about 165, 166 in this game, this is what you're going to be doing inside this game if you follow my guidelines to the T. Ladies and gentlemen, all you need to do is follow my guidelines and you should be good to go. All right, let's jump straight into the video and let's get this going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm on my desktop right now. So there's a few things that you need to do inside Windows and then also inside the game with the latest update, which is 1.9. It's the latest version of the game. There's a few things that you can do to get these frames to go from 50 to 60 FPS more inside your game by just tweaking a few things inside Windows and inside the game settings and then have really good FPS and the game still looks absolutely great. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the search button over here and type in settings just like this and press enter and then go to update and security and then go to windows update and then click on check for updates it's highly recommended to keep your windows up to date on a regular basis please go ahead and do this because your machine needs to stay up to date if you see one of these where it says download and install please go ahead and download and install it i'm not going to do that right now because then i'm, I'm going to make this video much longer and you're going to watch me download and install this update go ahead and do it in your spare time please go ahead and do that all right after that you're going to go to home and then from there you're going to go to privacy you're going to go all the way down where it says background apps and you're going to turn this from on to off then all of these things over here that's running in the background while you are playing your games is going to stop using resources like your ram and your cpu and then your game is going to use all of your RAM and all of your CPU. You do not want any background apps running in the background while you are playing and focusing on a game. You don't want anything happening to your game in the background, like stuff using your CPU or your RAM. All right, next step you're going to do is go to the home page up here and then go to gaming. You're going to go to gaming mode. Now, this is a very, very weird thing depending on people's machines, okay? This is your own personal preference. If you turn this on and you do, I don't know, a little bit more FPS or your frames in your game is more stable, if it's on, then go ahead and switch it on. You have to test this yourself, okay? With my own personal rig, I have a 9700K and an RTX 2060 OC and 16 gigs of RAM that's been overclocked. Every single component, my CPU, my RAM and my GPU has been overclocked. Right now, if I turn this off or I turn it on, I don't see one FPS increase or one FPS decrease in my game if this is on or off. So it's your own personal preference depending on what you're going to do here. Right. The next step you're going to need to do is go to graphics settings over here and you're going to go here. This one where it says hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, I highly recommend you go ahead and switch this on. If you do not have this on, go ahead and switch this on. If you are a streamer, if you're playing Hunt Showdown and you're streaming this game, just to let people know this, to inform people of this, if you are streaming the game, all right, and you're also playing, if you don't just play the game, you're streaming and playing the game, then go ahead and switch it off, okay? But it's going to ask you to restart your computer if it's been on. Okay, if you don't stream the game and you just play the game alone, then go ahead and switch this on if you do have this option. If you do not have this option, don't stress because all you need to do is add Hunt inside here. Now, I've done this before. It's very easy to do. You just go to Browse and you go to where your game is installed. So I'm going to go over here where it says Online Games, then Steam Install, and you're going to go to Steam Apps, which is over here. Go to Common, click on anything and press H to find Hunt Showdown. Click, double click inside here and go to hunt.exe and say add and it's going to add it over here as you can see it's the exe file go to options and then go to high performance and let it select your graphics card you're currently running and then say save once you're done with that you're going to close out of this and then you're going to do this now this is for people out there that's running the video graphics card unfortunately i'm not an amd user but i'm pre Pretty sure a lot of people that's playing on AMD cards know how to tweak the AMD cards. All right. So if you are a NVIDIA user like me, go ahead and right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel and open up NVIDIA control panel and let it open up like this. All right. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to adjust image settings with preview and you're going to go over here. You're going to go to use the advanced 3D image settings. Do not use this. 
and then it's going to say take me there when you click take me there it's just going to take you to this page over here now this is global settings now you change your stuff to use global settings you do not want to go and select an individual game like hunt showdown for instance go to global settings so this can do it perfectly fine for your machine so your machine runs better right all you need to do is follow these steps over here all the settings i've tweaked you can just pause the video however you like go ahead and change all of these things to mine that i have over here this is very important opal G open gl rendering gpu go ahead and click on this do not say auto select say your graphics card you're currently running prefer maximum performance default driver on clamp quality and then you're going to go down keep this on on auto off use the 3d application settings one and off now if you are running a lower end graphics card than a 20 series graphics card i highly recommend you go ahead and click on this over here and then change this from quality to performance you will get an fps increase in your game if you want your game to have a lot more fps like a lot but your game's not going to look that great then you can click on high performance all right i do recommend just clicking on either performance or quality depending on the graphics card you're currently running right and you're going to apply these settings here at the bottom okay now this one over here adjust desktop color settings no this has nothing to do with fps it's not going to increase your fps but it's going to make your game look much much better digital vibrance now digital vibrance with the adjust desktop color settings you do not need to use nvidia filters which uses resources of your machine and you are going to lose frames by using the video filters now instead of using the video filters you are going to use this make sure you click on image 3 so you can see this little buggy here this little yellow thing and then do this and watch it go completely black and white all right now you go find your sweet spot for your monitor mine is 85 like this and this is how i keep it for all my games for every single game that i play the digital vibrance looks much much better all right you're going to apply these settings over here and then you're going to go to config and surround and physics and you're going to go over here and do not select auto select do not select cpu select your graphics card you're currently running and then apply your graphics card to this physics settings please go ahead and do that once you're done with that you're going to go ahead and do this you're going to press the windows key and r to bring up the run tab and you're going to press the shift key and five for the percentage symbol and type in temp shift 5 for the percentage symbol and press enter click on anything inside here control and a to highlight everything delete on your keyboard to delete everything and then close out of this you're going to press the windows key and r again now obviously i don't know for some miracle your keyboard doesn't work with the windows key and r and it doesn't bring up the run tab just go to the search button over here and type in run just like that and it will open it up as well now you're going to type in temp just like this without the percentage symbols and press enter Click on anything, control and A to highlight everything, delete on your keyboard, and then do say continue. You're going to say cancel because Windows is currently running this file right here. When you're done with that, you're going to do the exact same thing. So let's just type in run, and you're going to type in prefetch. Just like that, and press enter. You're going to say continue to this, click on anything inside here, control and A, highlight everything, delete on your keyboard, and then say do this all current items, and then say skip. It's going to delete everything and then Windows is currently using these files. You're going to close out of this and then what you're going to need to do is you're going to go to your recycling bin. I'm just going to move it from out of the screen. Say into recycling bin and say yes. You might not have done this in a very long time. So you might have like, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, 50 gigs just chilling there for no reason. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the game. Let me show you the settings that I'm using for 1.9 and how you can go from like... 40 to 50 to 60 to 70 fps more increase in your game by changing these settings that i'm going to show you right now all right let's jump straight into the game all right ladies and gentlemen as you can see i'm in hunt showdown right now and as you can see i'm doing about 90 fps in my game right now and obviously i'm looking at trees so as soon as i move towards a compound it's going to stop dropping and as you can see it's like quite blurry now you don't want this you do not need this at all so let me just show you this as you can see the highest will go is 92 about 93 there on 
So what you're going to do is you're going to go to options over here, go to graphics, make sure it's on your resolution of your monitor, put this at full screen, do not play it in any other mode. Please go ahead and change it to full screen. Do not keep it at full screen windowed, do not keep it at borderless, do not keep it at windowed. Keep it at full screen, always. Render resolution scale. 100% gamma is your own personal preference that's depending on the monitor you're currently running and then this at 80% and then obviously you can see this is the graphics card that I'm currently using right this is going to be custom because we're going to customize these things you're going to keep your object quality on high your texture quality on high and this at 16 times this you're going to turn completely off you do not need this in this game because you want to see people. You do, don't care about how good the game looks. You want good FPS and you want to be able to find where people are in the game so you can kill them. So you can win most of your games. All right. Lighting quality. You are obviously also going to put this at low. And then this shadow quality. You're going to keep at low as well. And people are busy shooting next to me. Anyways. All right. From here, you're going to go to effect quality. You can keep this at low. Don't put it off. Just put it at low like this. Post-processing quality, you can keep at either low or medium, but I highly recommend low. Particle quality, you can keep this at low as well. And keep this at detailed so you can actually see your FPS if you aren't using MSI Afterburner. Right? Then what you're going to do is depth of field. You're going to turn this off motion blur you're going to turn this off and then all of these advanced options you are going to turn off and apply these settings like this and then you need to restart your game now as you can see my fps is going to climb up i'm doing about 140 now i was doing 90 and then it was dropping when i looked into a compound all right so now i'm looking into a compound i'm doing 90 but then it climbs up so having the settings like this is going to increase your FPS by a lot. While playing the game, while being in a gunfight, or whatever the case might be, your FPS will be more stable, and it will also be better performance. And the game still looks absolutely fine. As you can see, the game looks still absolutely fine without any problems. The game looks really, really good still. So, ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're a new year. And as always, peace, art.